In the prior video, we talked about how to build a change set. This is going to focus on deployment settings and what that means. And so I'm in my production org, and what I'm going to do is to go through settings and navigate to my sandbox. And then within my sandbox, uh, just as a recap, what I'm doing is, is going into setup again and looking at change sets. Uh, and if I scroll down within this and, and this graphic shows up over and over again so uh, definitely worth a read uh, what you're doing is clicking continue uh, and then you get the details of the change set that we built in the prior step and if we uh, if we look at that we say okay we're going to click in now on our change set and uh, this is the set that we built and what we're now going to do is to click upload because we we were happy with it and we say great and it says, uh, unfortunately, the, the organization is authorized. So for authorization, we need to contact, uh, the, you know, the deployment connections administrators uh, on the organization. Well, that, that's me. So, okay, so what does that mean? Uh, what that we have to do is we have to go back out to our other organization, our, our you know, production organization. Uh, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into deployment settings. And what you're seeing again is the same graphic uh, for deployment settings overview. Uh, by clicking continue, we get to deployment settings. And what we're seeing here is that for the one we care about, which is change set one, uh, it's currently marked red, uh, which says we cannot upload. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's first just click in on that to see what it looks like. Uh, and this is, this is what you get when you click that, which is you, you get this edit button here, which can talk about how you want to allow inbound changes or accept from this organization. And we're in the production, we're not in the sandbox at this point. Uh, but if we go from here, we could have clicked edit same way, uh, and that would have resulted in this screen, which is saying uh, we have something we can save. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're going to click in on uh, allow inbound changes, uh, and this is from uh, for this organization from the the change set, which is coming from uh, uh, our sandbox. And we're going to click save, and what it's going to do is to return us to the fact that that we now have it saved and we're edited by going back to your deployment settings. You can then see that we're now marked in green, which means that we can uh, we can allow those changes, right, from change set uh, to force by one foundation, my production work. So now we can move on back to the next step and redeploy. Uh, thanks for watching.